Hello, Internet. Welcome to Wednesday's Serial. So I'm going to try to keep this tight. But basically, I read Daredevil Yellow. Obviously, recently I read The Man Without Fear. Daredevil Yellow is the superior version of the exact same thing. Um, this is a retelling of Daredevil's origin. And whereas there is some focus early on with the father and all that, you get much more of matt's love for his father carried forward it doesn't take on so many weird dimensions partially because they spend less time there this is six issues not five so they do have more time i guess you could argue but at that point i feel like it's a choice the man without fear was supposed to be a graphic novel that they broke up and they actually took out a couple pages um that they then displayed in the back because they said they didn't have room i what <laughs> So, um, but Yellow actually follows the original comics more closely. I haven't read as many of those, uh, partially because <laughs> um, they're hard to get to, but I read them. Yeah, I read them illegally. I've spent a thousand dollars recently basically acquiring as many Daredevil comics as I could get a hold of within a certain price point. I don't feel bad for saying to get that stuff. Yeah, I had to read it. And what was available was in... Um, a, di a recoloring digital which was kind of unfortunate i'm hoping to read it with more of an original coloring so i don't know um but these books do so much they they play not only with um the, the yellow costume that actually becomes a big deal it's framed with um matt murdoch remembering kind of these early days and karen page more so than his father because this is coming off of her recently dying in daredevil volume two which was running at the time this is also at a time where they're um <clears throat> worried about different things in the world so in the process of this book, on the back two issues, you'll see the Remember 9-11, which means this was happening right around then. And this idea of remorse and death and dealing with that, you know, kind of wraps in more tightly. And the, the move from yellow to red is because Karen Page says red is her favorite color and aren't you trying to be devil, which is where it ends. And it just such a lovely thing. I don't know if that's in the original comics. It feels like it, but there's a... Uh, there's a sense of innocence here at times, but there's also a play that goes a little deeper than where the original comics did. But the way that the original comics read was much more like they wanted to do a superhero comic more in a crime vein, but they were bumping up literally against the limits of the comic code that had just been established. And here they're free from the comic code. And yeah, decompressed storing means they could do a few little different things as well it's such a honest and true retelling though at moments it feels like this is jeff Loeb's least in writing because he's taking so much from the original comics that i don't know it, it's it's an adaptation comic of the earlier comics more so than anything else which is fun and interesting it's been done at other times never to this quality that i've seen it's usually like some cheap reprint with a rehash with like up and comers that don't really know what they're doing and don't really have like a any interesting way to make it better than what was before uh, whereas this is great um if you prefer the original issues i wouldn't slight you an inch but i bet if you like them you'd find something of value in these two still uh, it's such a beautiful way to recapture the magic of Daredevil's origin and some of the aspects that set him apart. And I think a big part of it versus where Marvel was, I mean, you had Fantastic Four and the first family and they're interestingly still wholly unique compared to a lot of their contemporaries and then follow-ups. Um, I know that there's a couple similars that have happened. It feels inevitable, but... Um, interesting that, that went that way and you'd had the i don't even know if the i don't know the full order of the original marvel but like x-men had happened you know um at some point spider-man definitely came before daredevil and that seemed to inform a lot more and i think the idea of crime and adult wanted to come in to have some contrast and play that fits so naturally 
with the idea of a superhero, but there's so much with the realization of Matt Murdock. And he's this blind man who's a lawyer who's doing this at an age and has this father who is a boxer. There's so much in that character, in that origin story, that is so much more rich than, I believe, a lot of the other Marvel origins. Uh, I mean, the Fantastic Four, it's four people who go up into space who are connected uh, loosely, but I mean, so much of their character really gets developed much later. Uh, Spider-Man, I mean, high school nerd who you know, gets bit and then finds responsibility. I mean, really, you don't get most of what we think of with as Spider-Man until you're an amazing Spider-Man one, at least. Uh, you know, a Daredevil, like, really is going in the first, like, two issues were at a whole nother level. I just, uh, I've been digging this and liking it, and if you haven't, Daredevil Yellow is, like, just a must, not just for daredevil fans like this is the intro to the origin character sort of thing that you you grab the other one is more for just the daredevil fans so i think that's all i have on this one but i'm going to be reading what's next daredevil ninja so that should be interesting a uh, bendis aside